everyone and welcome to another Around the Year video. Today we're going to attempt to make a tailored woolen coat. I've wanted to make this for quite some time now and today it's finally happening. I'm mainly inspired by some vintage dress coats such as the ones I'll put on the screen. And I really like how they sit and how you can actually wear them without trousers, just with a pair of tights and more like a dress than a coat. So this is what we're going to attempt today and let's jump right in. First of all I made a pattern and this is mainly self-drafted. So I borrowed some parts from a pattern from the 59 Authentic Victorian Patterns book and I actually had a separate skirt pattern and bodice patterns so I pieced them together every time I watched a cut out piece. This was probably not an ideal method but it worked okay for me. And I started by cutting out the lining fabric, a pretty purple polka dot print, which I really love. I looked at several fabrics for lining, including some floral patterns, but I'm just so happy I ended up going with the polka dot. It's 100% cotton, which is very nice as well. I cut out my fabric with a 1.5cm seam allowance and then started assembling the lining. Actually, I only assembled half of the lining for now and used the other half for pattern pieces to cut out the wool. Then I used those lining pieces to cut out the wool fabric. And once I had the wool pieces cut out, I could finish assembling the lining. And here's what it looks like now. Back to the wool. This is a lovely plum burgundy wool blend with about 30% actual wool. It's quite lightweight and I really like the color. Here I am assembling the wool coat shell except for the sleeves, collar and facings, which I have yet to cut out. Once I had them cut out, I interfaced the facings with fusible interfacing, but since I had bought lightweight interfacing and I would have needed something a bit more medium weight, I ended up applying two layers, which worked fine and gave the structure I wanted. As you can see, I did not interface the seam allowances, but left them open. I sewed the front facing to the coat, not knowing I should have attached the back facing to the front facing first. I also did not know I had to attach the collar before sewing around the lapel to be able to sandwich the collar in between coat shell and facing. So I ended up having to rip part of the seam to do that.
I inserted the lining around the neck, like so. And then I cut out collar, under collar and back facing and interfaced collar and facing, again with a double layer of interfacing. Then I sewed them together as follows, facing to collar and collar to under collar. The seam allowances were clipped, trimmed and understitched, so no stitching showed on the actual collar. So no stitching showed on the collar. Then the under collar was attached to the neckline of the coat, again clipping and understitching the seam allowance. I inserted the sleeves, both on the lining and the coat, and hemmed the raw edges.
raw edges of the facings were turned under and the facing slip stitched to the lining by hand, trying not to catch the outside fabric so the stitching would be invisible. The hem was turned up and this time the lining was folded over and the raw edge turned under and stitched in place by hand. I ended up having to redo the hem since I pinned everything with the coat lying flat and ended up pulling the lining too tight so it pulled at the coat in a weird way. So for my next attempt I hung the coat on a hanger and sewed the hem like that. Last but not least I attached buttons and buttonholes. And here is the finished coat. One thing I'm not 100% satisfied with is the collar and lapel area, which is kind of natural since I've never done this before, but it does look a bit bulky, I don't know if you can see on camera. Luckily you can hide this by wearing a scarf, which I will probably be doing anyway since this is a coat, so with a scarf you can hardly see that. I hope all of you enjoyed this video, if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new and I will see you in my next one.